Good morning, boys and girls. It's Pastor Janet again, and I'm here with my friend Lucky, and we have another story for you. This one is the Parable of the Lily. It is by Liz Curtis Higgs, and it is illustrated by Nancy Munger. And I hope you enjoy this book as much as I do. The Parable of the Lily by Liz Curtis Higgs, illustrated by Nancy Munger. One wintry day, the farmer's young daughter shuffled through the snow, headed for the mailbox at the end of the lane. Brrr, it was cold. She peered inside the mailbox and found a small white envelope. Surprise! It was addressed to her. Dear Maggie, the letter began, I'm sending a very special gift just for you. Look for it soon. Maggie loved getting presents, especially a gift as mysterious as this one. When would it come? Who was it from? What would it be? The farmer's daughter waited and waited, some days patiently, some days not so patiently. Then one very ordinary afternoon, a box appeared on her doorstep. The gift had arrived! The farmer watched as his daughter excitedly tore off the wrapping paper. He was eager to see what she thought of her presence. But Maggie didn't say a word. She just stared at the small wooden crate full of dirt. Dirt was not at all what Maggie had hoped for. Poking out of the soil was a small piece of paper that told Maggie how to care for her gift. Then she knew it must be a growing thing, like a bulb, that would someday bloom into a plant. Hide in a cool, dark place. Water is needed. When spring comes, bring it into the light. Oh dear, her long-awaited gift wasn't a toy or a doll or a game after all. The farmer could see that his daughter was very disappointed. His heart grew sad. The gift was from him. With a sigh, Maggie carried the wooden box down the steps to the darkest corner of the cellar and left it there on a shelf. Sometimes she remembered to water it, but most of the time, Maggie just plain forgot. The farmer did not forget. He just waited and he watched. Spring came at last. The air was warmer. The gray skies had melted into a robin's egg blue. What a welcome sight the sun was. It was time for the farmer to hoe his garden getting the soil ready for the seeds that filled his pockets. Maggie wanted to help, so she marched down the cellar steps to get her own Maggie-sized garden tools. And that's when it happened. Searching for her toolbox in the darkest corner of the cellar, Maggie knocked the forgotten crate of dirt off the shelf. Crash! The crate splintered into pieces. Soil went everywhere. And the flower bulb that rolled to her feet showed no signs of life. What a mess! Maggie was mad at the box and even madder at herself. She swept up the dirt and threw away the broken box, grumbling under her breath. That ugly old flower bulb? 
She tossed it out the cellar door, never to think of it again. Until... Maggie woke up earlier than usual Easter morning. A warm breeze blew through her bedroom window, and the chirping birds seemed to call her name. Still dressed in her nightgown, Maggie tiptoed out to the garden. She was hoping to find some daffodils or tulips to decorate the table for Easter breakfast. And that's when she saw it. The loveliest lily that God ever made was blooming on the edge of her father's flower garden. Its white petals unfolded like a trumpet. Its leaves were green with new life. Its scent was as fragrant as the most expensive perfume. Maggie knew all at once what had happened. She didn't know whether to laugh or cry or shout with joy. So Maggie did all three at once. Wake up, everybody, wake up. Come and see, the gift is alive. Her family hurried out to the garden. They couldn't believe their eyes. So much beauty from such an ugly box of dirt. Maggie noticed the farmer standing in the doorway, quietly watching. His smile gave away his secret. Father, it was you who gave me the lily, Maggie squealed with delight. Suddenly, her little girl's smile began to fade. Oh, dear. She'd thrown away her father's gift without so much as a thank you. How that must have hurt him. I'm sorry, Daddy, she said, putting her little arms around his big waist. Will you forgive me? Oh, my child, the farmer whispered, hugging her tight. That's what Easter is all about. Well, children, I hope you enjoyed this story. Sounds a lot like it is our Easter story. If you have a children's Bible at home, I hope you will ask, mom or dad or your caregiver to read you some of that. And I'll be back with you again soon. I can't wait to see you all in person. But in the meantime, God bless you.